Hello and welcome to Orcus 365. As promised, June blooms. I have been crazy busy this month preparing beautiful pots of mouths for you guys and for shows and the kids and the events, but it's okay. June blooms is here and I cannot wait to show you what I have blooming. Welcome back. Here, my beautiful new orchid from Ophi this weekend. And here you can see her. Super fragrant and super beautiful and delicate. With two blooms. All of my purchases were from Curl Smith. And here is the ID. What a beautiful mix she is. I fell in love with her instantly. Already sitting in my rose gold holy pot, which I plan on hanging. And I have her here on the table to enjoy. I fell in love with this foul. Main show, Blue Elf. And I just, I have my little Vanda baskets that I've been using for some species fouls of mine. And this color seemed to match just right. This flower is absolutely gorgeous. And the fragrance, delicious. My other purchase is inside. I will bring her out and show you towards the end of my video. Those are on the way out. I have another little banana that I planted a pup from my tree here. And she's doing great pushing out a new leaf. Oh, that little dragonfly just loves my chives. Look how pretty. Beautiful. I love dragonflies. Just stopping to admire nature. It's almost like she's showing off the camera. See if I can get it to focus. Oh, look at that, you guys. Wow. Hello there. <laughs> this is me all day talking to nature. Pretty cool. All right. So over here, don't have much going on right now, but I did have the dendrobiums going wild over here. So the light is hitting them and they look so, so pretty. I had to move a lot of my orchids from this corner and just put sun loving plants because they were just getting way too much sun. So I don't have orchids in this corner anymore. I'm going to go to the front and show you what's in bloom over there. Oh, look at these spikes. Look at these buds. My mocaras are showing off right now. Look at this beauty. And what I love is that they bloom a lot and the blooms stay beautiful and fresh for so long. And with this extreme heat and these heavy rains, and they go, they just go. These are perfect, perfect for the front. This one has a spike, so they'll, they'll be blooming together soon. And then over here, I have something crawling on me. Okay, look, I have two spikes on this baby right here. Now, Maria, if you're watching, look how beautifully she's wrapping on the palm tree. This is my favorite yellow orchid because of you. He's very cute. And this Mokara is doing its thing. And I bought the full sun dendrobium at Ophi this weekend. And I'm watering her and establishing her here in the front as well. As you may have seen, her name is, I believe they, she was named Cher. That's going to look beautiful when it starts blooming here, guys. Okay. Over the back. I just love how the marigolds have grown. I put so many seeds right before we got all this rain. And all of these are from seed. And what I love about these marigolds is they help control the pest population and the mosquitoes. And also when they dry up, you just... Or like this just sprinkle seeds everywhere and they'll just keep growing and growing and growing look it's just so so pretty so i am going to head back here 
where we started this one i think in the last video was already blooming and it's still looking beautiful still blooming beautifully gosh she is just lovely look at that shimmer in the sun i swear if if they made a, fra a fabric just like this will make the cutest tank tops ever this one that i've been waiting for almost two years got the hint apparently the ants are loving it they'll leave me some flowers please and this is the Pion, Pion pit prize i cannot wait to show you those flowers and then my tango fire took a hard hit with the winter and finally came back she's always blooming and man i miss those and i love how they look like little berries plumping up so i have these bandas that are coming in i have lola from key west blooming again deliciously fragrant looking like a blue test latte i brought her back when i was a vendor in march and they had to cut down a tree i think i said it in one of my videos and then they were selling um, the pieces of the specimen that were removed so i lovingly named her lola because she was a showgirl. Great idea. The name. The godmother being Lindsay. Great idea. So then I'm going to head over back there. And see, right now we have waiting on these bananas to ripen up. And the other pup that I planted next to her just found out that it has a flower and it is huge so we are gonna have more bananas here and then sorry if I moved the camera too fast now my husband's um fruit trees but I could never remember the name of the fruit I think this one has the ID on it I was looking to show you I believe these are called sugar apples hold on look at that Hopefully the squirrel won't find it. It's nice and hidden. The sugar apples, I believe. But in Spanish, this is what it says. Alano. Tapota. So hopefully I get to taste that one. We have another fruit tree here that I also keep forgetting the name. But this one doesn't have any fruit. And um, my butterfly and bee garden has taken off. It's quite unruly, but that's the way it has to be. <laughs> for at least for now my butterfly bush as well with all the rain has taken off gosh i love these little flowers they're adorable and the kiki of my golden doubloon finally flowered i'm so happy now this one is high high sun full sun there and she's happy and that's where i'm gonna keep her so gonna go this way i don't know how these blooms are still here but this was the first bloom they're falling off already oh they were so pretty what a shame you still see how pretty the flowers were are you ready goodbye fun to flick right but not all of them are ready <laughs> these are still hanging in there i always flick the hoya um, blooms when they they're on their way out and then Miss Joaquim is kind of impossible. I have to totally trim her, but she has been blooming nonstop way up there. Looking like Jack and the Beanstalk. Man, I threw some wildflower seeds, literally just tossed them in there. And after all the heavy rains, I have all of these plants growing. I have these, um, Zinnias, which I love, of different colors. I'm not sure which ones these are. I don't recognize them by the leaf. And I and I don't remember what I tossed over there. The toss was sprouting. Those little seeds over there. So we shall see. Um, we have a lot of mangoes, guys. A lot of mangoes over there. So the approach with caution. And, ooh, wow. These begonia leaves sure do look pretty in the sunlight. This one just, just opened. Look at that.
I have, these guys are always blooming. Look, always, always, always. Adorable. My brown splash, guys. Oh, pretty obsessed is an understatement what a prolific spike of flowers and this is from the original that i divided a piece and i am obsessed with these flowers look at that and they already they lightened up a bit they were a darker red and then i have my dendrobium my wild dendrobium spike is over there plant is all the way down here in one of my giant tambor pots that i have I believe the ones you may have seen in the Ophi video were like the co cotton candy colors. But before I sell anything, I always grow my orchids in it. And then I'm also growing my gigantic 10-year-old Laelia in my tambor pot. And the spikes are loading and I'm excited. And this indigo blue, man, those flowers last a long time. And I really do love, 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 love these flowers. And then this one finally decided to open for me. It only had two flowers, but it's okay. I had her as a seedling. I'm glad she finally opened. Let's see if I can get this to focus. The other one fell out, but this one's still doing its thing. And these encyclias, I think, were in bloom in the last video. And they're still kind of looking okay there. This is the Guatemalensis that I had just purchased a short while ago in the redlands and uh, excuse me i have this beauty that's gonna spike up again on um, my panel mount there hive panel mount another beautiful encyclia another beautiful miltonia kismet from my friend maria first time blooming for me she has a huge beautiful plant and this was a division from hers and i'm super super excited and i'm loving the flowers and i think she's due for a repot very fast grower we did get a break from the rain very much needed break from the rain this one's always blooming this is the vanda colestis darwinara charm from moats beautiful beautiful always blooming about to bloom again real soon i've noticed i have more spikes right now this is my little blue twinkle see on that beautiful mount from natalia from just one more orchid my beautiful starfish mount and my show-stopping cholestus blue this is a relatively small plant that i've had for a very very long time and look at the size of the Spike. and it usually gives me two even three but hey one spike is better than no spike if there's any true blue gosh i love her i may or may not have enabled someone recently to add this to their collection no regrets and now you know why i told you that you needed it in your life and look at this one she will be blooming all summer long non-stop i adore her you need her in your life i have her in the panel mount she's my amboinensis my foul amboinensis tejas beautiful 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 love 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 her i uh, i brought her up here i usually have her back there but when she's blooming i bought this to showcase my blooms i can just hang them here Take them back, and I have another beautiful division from Maria, from her cherry baby <laughs> chocolate. Finally, last time it, it did spike for me. The thrips found it before I did, but now I have another spike, and I have these beautiful, deliciously fragrant flowers starting to open, and they have my heart. Very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. I don't, this file doesn't have an ID, but she sure is pretty. I have another one in bud there in my little teapot. 
I think I may have some flowers coming in this one and more buds back there. So these are all the July blooms that you'll be seeing. There's a lot of buds, a lot of buds and not notice how many. <laughs> then I have my beautiful boughs hanging in those swings, growing ever so happy. No ID, but sure is a beauty. They are growing beautifully back there. So I am going to head over here real quick, but she's not facing the way that she should be, the Belina. She's playing peekaboo with me. There she is. Um, unfortunately, I missed this one had two flowers and I missed the blooms because it was raining so much at night. I was not able to make it, but at least I know it's blooming size. And then I'm going to head back here. Oops, sorry for the noise. And it's a little bit bright. But I'm going to check if I have anything blooming. Not really. And this one, I was not expecting for it to bloom so soon for me. This is the first time blooming with me. Isn't she pretty? What a strange little um species is that? Very, very, okay, there, I finally got it to zoom in a little. The lighting can be tricky. I am, it should be fun to try to say this. So, Ionopsis otricularoides. This is from Orchids in Bloom in one of the Ophi fairs. I purchased it from her. And this is like the third time it blooms. It's very happy. It's in one of my baskets. It needs to be in something that dries out quickly. With all the rain we've been receiving i have another there's a plant growing there that i need to take care of i don't know when that happened but there's a spike down here oh my birthday orchid still has a little flower going so pretty such a beautiful orchid that i was given an unboxing you guys saw for my birthday one left what a beauty and see, I have a special out of this world treat for you to end the video. First time blooming for me. Totally out of Stranger Things. It's had a few blooms, but um, not at the same time. Oops, I knocked something down, didn't I? <laughs> okay, I'm trying to see if I can zoom in because the sun is making it very difficult. So I'm going to end this video with this very weird bloom. I hope you guys are having an amazing summer. I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for your support, for your kind words, the beautiful messages. You are awesome. Stay safe. Stay hydrated. It is hot. Most importantly, please be kind. Happy growing. See you soon.